so why acha that means i can simply say uh the iron which we produce is impure one basically hmm. it contains lot of impurities in significant amount so that's why iron is not directly used in any applications mostly hmm. we make steel out of that then that steel will be used in certain applications because of desirable properties in steels huh? and also we make the iron pure one basically hmm. before adding alloying elements into it fine you can see uh, okay let me tell about this one first then i will slowly move into that you can see iron making then external desulfurization then steel making process so what is the significance of this external desulfurization process here before moving into steel making process we can have a root like iron making then we can have steel making then we can have external desulfurization that also can be done but why we are doing external desulfurization first then we are making steel later can anybody answer this this one this is a very important question do you people know what is external desulfurization sulfur removal yeah but the name is external desulfurization sir outside of the blast furnace uh yeah somebody have answered very good this external desulfurization means the sulfur you are going to remove but externally externally means not inside the reactor or not inside the furnace this will be removed outside the furnace outside the furnace means obviously in a ladle huh ladle ladle is a container in which we can pour our liquid or hot metals into that and we can remove the sulfur in that hmm. it is okay up to this so why now the question is why external desulfurization so before steel making process very beautiful concept you have to remember right see before okay fine before moving into that let me discuss this one and i will answer that one huh? composition of hot metal composition of hot metal means i am talking about composition of pig iron mostly hmm. because pig iron is the major form of iron we get that is from blast furnace hmm. then we convert that pig iron into steel later right by using steel making process so you can see the this is the approximate composition of hot metal or pig iron right so you can see iron is the base substance and this carbon silicon manganese phosphorus sulfur are alloying elements as well as you can say impurities element fine so basically you can see we have in iron we have 92% sorry 93 to 94% iron and others are considered considered as impurities right now you can consider them as an impurity right now right because they are in a significant amount that's why so in steel making process what is our main aim our main aim is to remove this carbon remove this silicon remove this manganese remove this phosphorus remove this silicon right that's what exactly we are doing in steel making process we are removing or we are decreasing these elements from iron it is okay up to this yes sir yes sir so if we remove the carbon silicon manganese phosphorus silicon from from impure iron what will happen to the iron amount iron amount will increase obviously and this amount will decrease they will get removed carbon will get removed silicon will get removed manganese will get removed phosphorus will get removed sulfur will get removed but you have to remember you cannot remove 100% of the carbon 100% of silicon 100% of manganese 100% of phosphorus and sulfur you cannot remove right this is very difficult to remove 100% so that means during steel making process our aim is to remove these impurities from the iron as much as we can or as much as we want depending upon our requirement also right so yeah what i mean to say is yeah just look at this one sulfur hmm. sulfur do you have do you know that uh, blast furnace is a very uh, efficient fur furnace to remove sulfur do you do you remember why 
Anybody remember what is the source of sulfur in blast furnace iron making? Coke. Coke. Yeah, very good. Coke, coal. Coal also we are using na, in form of PCI, pulverized coal injection. So lot of coal, lot of sulfur comes from coal and coke. Right? Very good. And some, some also comes from iron ore also. Right? Anyways, so blast furnace is an efficient furnace to remove sulfur. Lot of sulfur can be removed inside the blast furnace. Do you know why? Because of reducing atmosphere, you have to remember. Because of the reducing atmosphere in the blast furnace, right? The slag which is producing is a, a reducing slag in the blast furnace. That is the important point. The slag which produced in the blast furnace is a reducing slag. Why? Because the FeO weight percent in that slag is very low, less than 1%. So that is called reducing slag, right? So just opposite. What is oxidizing slag? Oxidizing slag is a slag which contain lot of FeO weight percentage, maybe 10% or more than that, right? That is a very interesting point you have to remember. So inside the blast furnace, reducing atmosphere is there and the slag is also a reducing slag, not an oxidizing slag because FeO percentage is very low, less than 1%. That helps in the removal of sulfur. And also we are adding some manganese, uh, manganese ore in the blast furnace. You remember? We charge manganese ore. Why? One of the raw materials in blast furnace iron making is manganese ore. Because man manganese sulfide form very karke. good, very good. Man manganese ore will reduce to manganese and manganese react with sulfur to form manganese sulfide. And in this way, manganese sulfide will join to the slag phase. In this way, we can remove as much as sulfur in form of manganese sulfide. Very good. But the point is still, if sulfur content is somewhat significant, we need to remove it by external desulfurization. So why external desulfurization? before steel making process why not external desulfuration after steel making process the point is steel making process you cannot remove sulfur you have to remember during steel making you cannot able to remove sulfur because of high oxidizing power of slag right blast furnace slag is a reducing slag but steel making slag is a oxidizing slag why because of higher weight percentage of FeO content in this steel making slag. You cannot remove sulfur. Even if you add some lime, it can remove some amount of sulfur, negligible, but sufficient amount of sulfur cannot be removed. So that is one part you have to remember, right? And the important point is the activity concept. Uh, concept of activity, right? What is the concept of activity here? See, during any pyrometallurgical process, we basically get two, two phases. One is metallic phase, one is slag phase, right? Suppose there is a particular compound in your metallic phase and you want to send it to slag phase. So what you need to do about activity? You need to increase the activity of that particular compound so that it will go to the slag phase, right? You understood my point? Suppose you want to move something from slag to metal. What can be done? Do you increase the activity of that particular compound in slag phase? Automatically, it will move to this metallic phase, right? That's the concept, simple concepts, right? So the point is you have to remember that means your hot metal or pig iron contains sulfur, right? And you want to remove it. So how you can remove the sulfur? Sulfur can be removed into the slag phase, right? From hot metal phase during steel making process, but it won't go. I told one of the major reason is the steel making slag is highly oxidizing in nature or oxidizing power of steel making slag is high because of higher weight percentage of FeO content, right? But another point is activity concept. The activity of sulfur will remain higher in hot metal if other impurities are present with it. If you remove other impurities, 
then the activity of sulfur will go down right so once the activity of sulfur will go down it cannot move to the slag phase so it cannot be removed so you understood my point first i told you can remove carbon you can remove silicon manganese phosphorus in steel making processes but you cannot remove sulfur one reason you understand weight percentage of fuo content and or oxidizing power of slag steel making slag another point is activity so activity means the sulfur activity will remain higher in hot metal if other impurities are present like carbon silicon manganese phosphorus if you remove this impurities during steel making process and you want to do external desulfurization again this sulfur cannot be removed easily it will be very difficult because the activity of sulfur will go down it will become more stable in the metallic phase is it okay up to this Yes, sir. So sulfur activity is higher in which phase? Slag, slag or in metallic phase? See, I told first point is suppose you want suppose you have an impurity in metallic phase, right? And you want to remove it. So how you can remove it? You can remove it to the slag phase, right? You send the impurity from metallic phase to slag phase. Is it okay? And metallic phase and slag phase are immiscible. You remember? You can easily separate them. Yes, sir. Right. So. the only condition you can do is thermodynamic condition is you simply increase the activity of that particular impurity in the metallic phase so automatically it will move to the slag phase why this activity will go down in the slag phase that's why but if its activity will not go down with with temperature again there is a chance that it will again move into the metallic phase from slag phase right this is the concept of chemical potential and activity is it okay up to this yes so what i told the activity of sulfur remains higher in metallic phase if other impurities are present also but if you remove other impurities and sulfur will be alone or the amount of impurities will be reduced and sulfur will be still there it cannot be removed because the activity of sulfur will go down so activity of sulfur remain higher if other impurities are present that's why we first do iron making to get impure iron which contains these impurities then we try to remove as much as sulfur again that by external desulfurization in a ladle maintaining certain conditions like adding some lime into the process hmm. then after removing sulfur we go for steel making process so if you remove lot of sulfur finally you uh, left with iron carbon silicon manganese phosphorus and in steel making process i told you can remove carbon easily you can remove silicon easily you can remove manganese easily you can remove phosphorus easily because they all need oxidizing atmosphere that's why for remover i think up to this it is clear yes sir thank you uh and primary steel making i told primary steel making means we are oxidizing this impurities right that's all we are doing and in secondary steel making what we are doing we are removing mainly dissolved gases phase like dissolved oxygen dissolved uh, nitrogen dissolved hydrogen which are detrimental for the property of the steel that's why that is called secondary steel making process mostly those includes deoxidation practice uh, vacuum degassing and those things huh? secondary steel making process Okay, fine. Now, next steel making is an extraction or refining process. Now, can you answer it? Steel making is an extraction process or refining process? Refining. Refining. Refining process. Very good. You understood why? Because already we have a metallic phase containing impurities, and we try to reduce the amount of impurities. So that is a refining process or purification process. So that's why steel making is a purification process or refining process. It is not an extraction process. Extraction process means you are extracting metal from an ore. The raw metal should be ore or ore concentrate, right? But if you are doing refining, means already you have a metal, but that is impure metal. You only remove to re remove impurities from that. very good so it is a refining process so you people can write the difference between iron making and steel making right many many times in interview they ask this question what is the difference between iron making and steel making process so you simply say them iron making is an 
extraction process because we are extracting iron from iron ore or iron ore concentrate right and steel making is a refining process why we are refining the impure iron like like we are refining big iron we are refining dris or spons iron we are refining hot metals or we are refining scraps you can say simply say is it okay up to this and there are other many differences huh? other differences will be iron making is a reduction process you have to remember but steel making process is a oxidation process this is a very essential dif difference because iron making means fe2o3 will become fe by reduction right that is a reduction process because you are removing the oxygen from the compound i don't know right but steel making process is an oxidation process why because we are oxidizing carbon we are oxidizing silicon we are oxidizing manganese we are oxidizing phosphorus right we are oxidizing this impurity so it is an oxidation process is it okay and and the and the point you have to remember in iron making process process the refractory lining nature is something different and in steel making process the refractory lining is something different right and in iron making the basicity of slag is less but in steel making the basicity of slag is higher you have to remember these points how this will be i will tell you later okay anyways now uh, okay so now if now you understood steel making is a refining process or purification process huh, it is it is basically oxidation process very good so now tell me uh, you remember types of refining we have basically three types of refining right physical method of refining chemical method of refining and electrochemical method of refining right so steel making process falls under which category it falls under chemical method of refining anybody remember chemical method of refining from extractive process see physical method of refining depends upon boiling point vapor pressure uh, melting point right like liquefaction refining distillation fractional distillation those are physical method of refining right but chemical method of refining is what anybody remember in chemical method of refining we are using a refining process that is called refining agent or refining reagent huh? we intentionally add that refining agent or refining reagent into the molten metal right so what will happen that particular reagent or refining reagent will preferentially react with the impurities mostly not with the base metal because impurities have higher affinity towards that particular refining agent and it become a compound after reaction so impurities element will preferentially react with the refining agent to form compound and that compound may be in gaseous form it may be a solid it may be a liquid and it gets separate out from the system right best example anybody remember steel making process the chemical method of refining so here refining agent anybody tell me you are you are going through the class classes right what which one is the refining agent used in steel making process oxygen sir oxygen very good oxygen excellent huh. and another one is feo right feo and this oxygen is actually dissolved oxygen you have to remember you should not be confused this oxygen is actually dissolved oxygen in the metallic phase i will discuss that soon huh. and feo also in the slag phase hmm. that is also refining agent in steel making process you can also use air but it will be a slow process hmm. because of high nitrogen content then what are the raw materials for steel making process so the raw materials for steel making process is i told iron first obviously iron may be in hot metal form or it may be dra form or it may be uh, you can also write it may be in form of scrap hmm. scraps the second raw material is the flux flux mostly lime or mgo ca or mgo right these are the flux and and the major raw material is the oxygen which is the oxidant or refining agent i told hmm. and others others like coolants hmm. 
coolant's example i can say dri also a coolant no dri scraps scraps so these are coolants so major raw material is iron impure iron flux and oxygen now you people tell me you are going through the class okay fine can you tell me what is the function of flux here you people understood the function of oxygen oxygen is the refining agent you have to blow oxygen into the molten iron so that it will preferentially react with the impurities right and it will form a compound and that compound can be removed either in form of gas or either in form of solids or maybe liquid if temperature is high what is the function of flux nobody remember what is the function of flux we have gone through the extractive class slag removal slag removal. removal what is the function of flux is slag removal or flux is a substance which forms slag ha slag gang ke sath add ho ke slag formation karte hai yeah so basically you remember the here there is no gang right gang remain in ore if you are talking about gang gang is a definition which comes from the ore ore contains gang and valuable minerals gang minerals and valuable minerals but here there is no gang here these are impurities you have to remember these are impurities not gang exactly hmm so the function of flux is to react with impurity compounds to form slag right you understood now for example phosphorus become p2o5 after oxidation so p2o5 is a compound that is their acidic compound right you add lime cao cao is a basic compound right they will react and form a slag they can be removed it is okay you remember if we have acidic oxide we need to use basic oxides as a flux right if we have a basic oxide as a impurity we need to use acidic oxide as a flux it is okay you remember those points is it okay or not yes shall i repeat you want if you want okay let me repeat again you suppose you got a molten metal ha huh, which contains these impurities carbon silicon manganese phosphorus and all right now you use a refining agent which is oxygen so oxygen will react with these impurities to form oxides right once they form oxides now you want to remove them in form of slag what can be done you add flux so flux simply react with these oxides and it form a slag and it will get removed so slag will form a separate phase your pure steel which forms form a separate phase now you have a steel and a slag you can separate them because they are in difference in density slag is slag floats on the top because of lower density steel remain in the bottom you can tap it if you want is it okay now yes sir okay very good so now mechanism of refining to get steel from impure iron so what is the mechanism i told to get pure iron or to get steel from impure iron what is the mechanism oxidation process i told simply right because we are intentionally oxidizing the impurities present in the iron itself and this after oxidation of this impurities they form oxides and they react with flux to form slag there is a very interesting line that is like this make a slag that slag will make your steel this is very interesting line so only point is important is to make a desired composition of slag if you make a if you know how to make a proper slag the slag will take care of steel how to make steel because everything measure of the impurities is going into the slag phase that's why because steel making is a refining process you have to refine it how we can refine if we can send impurities into the slag phase then only you can refine it is it okay now so can no. you repeat okay make uh, a slag yeah make a slag 
that slag will make the steel the composition of slag is very important what kind of slag you are going to make that is very important because the function of slag is what the function of slag is to take away the impurities present in the hot metal or present in the metallic phase right yes sir right okay anyways so now this is the import, very important part you can, you, you can get a question in the mid semester from this hmm. what are the important reactions which happened in steel making process or during steel making process so already i have given everything right you have suppose you start with a pig iron first the raw material is pig iron i told pig iron is a impure form of iron it won't only contain iron it also contains carbon silicon manganese phosphorus sulfur right and i also told you cannot remove sulfur in steel making process the only thing you can remove is carbon silicon manganese and phosphorus these four impurities carbon silicon manganese phosphorus right and i also told during steel making process we need to add oxygen or blow oxygen into the hot metal or pig iron right and that oxygen will preferentially react with the impurities like carbon silicon manganese phosphorus so you can see you can remember easily this reactions nothing to mug up right you just remember pig iron means we have iron and pig iron also contains impurities what are the other impurities that is carbon silicon manganese phosphorus and sulfur you write it like this then you add oxygen to it everything oxygen to every elements right because oxidize, oxygen is the oxidizing agent here that will oxidize the impurities right so now the reaction will be simply fe react with oxygen to form fio carbon react with oxygen to form carbon monoxide silicon react with oxygen to form sio2 silicon dioxide manganese react with oxygen to form mno phosphorus react with oxygen to form p2o5 right and if sulfur sulfur react with some lime to form calcium sulfide plus oxygen so these are the major reactions happen during steel making process is it okay up to this yes sir now can you people tell me due to this reaction what happened to the temperature of the bath it will increase or it will decrease it will increase yeah excellent it will increase why it will increase can you justify because we are blowing oxygen how oh, we are blowing oxygen but why the temperature will increase what happens because these are exothermic reactions yeah very good because these oxidation reactions are mainly exothermic reactions these are these are oxidation reaction you are oxidizing the impurities so oxidation reactions are mostly exothermic in nature so each reaction will evolve some amount of heat and that will increase the overall heat in the process and that will increase the temperature of the bath obviously still making process you have to remember that's why we are adding coolant into the process because the temperature should not exceed too much it may destroy the refractory lining or it may hinder the purification process so that's why we use coolant that coolant is nothing but same iron or iron maybe dri sponge iron or it may be scraps we are intentionally adding 10% 5% like that to maintain the temperature because the temperature will increase with this oxidation process and you have to remember this oxidation of impurities won't go together some impurities will oxidize faster some impurities will oxidize slowly there is a sequence maybe if i will take another class i will tell you about this that is also very important anyways everybody have understood up to this fine now the question is significance of this bracket i think uh, once i told about these brackets can anybody remember significance of this bracket this kind of bracket and this kind of bracket because you can see i am not writing the reaction i am writing the reaction with brackets so what is the significance of these three kind of brackets this kind of brackets this kind of brackets this kind of bracket actually um, answer is already there answer is already there see the 
come see the left side iron carbon silicon manganese phosphorus sulfur all are having which kind of bracket square kind of bracket is it so fine yes or no right and also you can see the reactant also this oxygen this oxygen all are in square brackets right but you can see in the right side product side the product sides some bracket round some brackets are curly kind of this this kind of brackets so square bracket means that particular element is in hot metal or in metallic phase simply you have to remember if you are giving a square bracket that means that particular element in the hot metal or metallic phase simply right and here oxygen is also in hot metal here these elements are all in metallic phase this oxygen this that means this oxygen is which kind of oxygen nascent oxygen yes or no yes sir. atmospheric oxygen is o2 but once it will dissolve it will become o that is nascent oxygen right and nascent oxygen is highly reactive once it becomes atom it is not molecular oxygen atmospheric oxygen is o2 molecular oxygen which is in atmosphere but that means you are blowing oxygen into the bath or oxygen into the peak molten peak iron that o2 is getting dissolved into the hot metal and it becoming o so that is a dissolved oxygen so all these oxygen are dissolved oxygen actually right so that's why they are in hot metallic phase so these impurities are in hot metal phase this dissolved oxygen are in hot metallic phase right now see the right side product part so some product part is one exception is there curly bracket is here in this product uh, others are round bracket why because carbon monoxide is a gas phase is it okay so it will go into the atmosphere it will never go into the slag phase but if you see this one feo sio2 mno p2o5 and calcium sulfide they will go into the slag phase so square bracket means these compounds will join slag but curly bracket means this compound will go to the atmosphere now it is clear or anybody have any doubt is it clear yes sir clear if you have any doubt you can ask me again there is no issue i can explain it okay next yeah okay so next is what happened to the product of oxidation so what is the answer what happens to the product of oxidation what you will write during steel making process steel making process is an oxidation process you have seen where the dissolved oxygen is reacting with the impurities if also with the base metal right because base metal means iron iron is the base metal that means we during steel making process also we are losing some amount of iron in form of fu that's why the slag also contains large amount of fu dissolved fu so that's why i told steel making slag is a oxidizing slag or oxidation potential or oxidizing power of steel making slag is higher because of more weight percentage of fu in it because because higher is the fu content in the slag phase it act as a what oxygen donor it can also donate oxygen because fu can donate oxygen to the impurities also to make it oxidize for example we have manganese in metal phase just remember we have manganese in hot metal phase and in slag phase we have fu they can react now fu can react present in slag phase can react with the mn in metallic phase so what will it form mno plus fe you understood my point now how if you can act as a oxidant yes sir right so so can you tell me this answer what happens to the product of oxidation during steel making process one of the so product is used as a yeah. raw materials for uh, cement portland cement no 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 i am asking what happens to the product of oxidation during steel making during 
This is Turing still making. It goes to the slag phase. Very good. So, except carbon monoxide, because carbon monoxide is the product which is a gas phase, so it will go to the atmosphere. But other oxidation products, FeO, SiO2, MnO, P2O5, all will go to the slag phase. Very good. And you remember slag can be easily separate from the hot metal, or slag can be easily separate from the steel. Now here you can produce a pure steel in this way. Can, can anybody remember the definition of slag for a steel making process or for a refining process? What is a slag if somebody will ask? In terms of composition, we need to de define a slag. Hmm. Slag is a solution of oxides. Now you remember? This is the most beautiful definition of slag. Slag is a solution of oxides mostly or maybe sulfide also and phosphide, but mostly oxide. The dominant phase is oxide. So you can see FeO is an oxide, SiO2 is an oxide, MnO is an oxide, P2O5 is an oxide. So all are in slag phase. So it is a solution of oxide now. Is it okay now? Slag is a solution of oxides mostly. And some amount of sulfide, if calcium sulfide will be there, and some amount of phosphide also. You have to remember. And some definition is like slag is a multi-component silicate. For iron making, mostly we are using those definitions. Here also you can use because silica will be there, so it is a multi-component silicate. So silica will be there and other components will be there. So it is a multi-component silicate. This is the major definition of slag. Right? Anyways, now tell me nature of oxide products, acidic or basic. Now you see, can you people tell me FeO, SiO2, MnO, P2O5. Among these four, FeO, SiO2, MnO, P2O5, which one is acidic oxide, which one is basic oxide? Or all are acidic or all are basic? Sorry. Sorry, can you repeat? The P2O5 is acidic. Okay, very good. Anything else? SiO2 is also acidic. Very good, very good. So P2O5 and SiO2 are acidic oxides, you have to remember, in steel making process. Or really, they are acidic oxides. And MnO and FeO are basic oxides. This is very simple. Metallic oxides are basically basic in nature. Non-metallic oxides are acidic in nature. Silica is in silica is neither metal nor non-metal, but still you can consider it as a non-metal, right? <laughs> silica is acidic. And phosphorus is a non-metal, so it is an acidic oxide. Manganese is a metal, so it forms basic oxides. Iron is a metal, it forms basic oxides. But you have to remember here important point. FeO and MnO are not strong basic oxide. They're weak basic oxides. That is the important line you have to remember. Weak basic oxides. Because oxides can be strong and weak. So FeO, MnO are weak basic oxides, not strong. Can you give an example of strong basic oxides? Simply flux. Flux. The flux which we are using. Which one? Tell me quickly. CO. Sorry. Lime. 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 CO. Lime. CO is a very strong oxide. Lime, MgO. CO, MgO are strong basic oxides. Right? Okay, very good. And you have to remember an important point. In between SiO2 and P2O5, which one is more stronger? Acidic oxide. Can you tell me? Obviously, which one is more, more non-metallic, right? Which one? Mm -hmm. hmm? P2O5. P2O5, obviously. Very good. So P2O5 is more acidic compared to SiO2. Okay. So now, uh, okay, fine. Now there is a good concept. Now you people understood up to this point, everybody, any, if, you have, if you have any doubt, you can ask me right now. Okay, anyways, there is no doubt, anyways. So now impurities reversal concept and how to prevent them. So this, okay, I will end up the class within two minutes. Huh? Impurities reversal concept and how to prevent them. So now the concept is, See, what I told during steel making process, it is, I told it is a refining process. We are oxidizing our impurities and we are sending our impurities to the atmosphere and to the slag, right? So now the con problem is, can you mute yourself, please? Okay, so, okay, impurities removal concept means impurities now move to the slag. 
but there is a chance that again this impurities will come back into the hot metal or into the steel so that is called impurity reversal so how to prevent them now the question is how we can prevent them can you tell me i told you about activity concept can you tell me quickly anybody for example sio2 have moved to the slag this sio2 can again move into the metal by si mno have moved to the slag phase then mno can become mn and move into the met metallic phase again into the steel that means p2o5 is there in slag p2o5 can become p and come back into the steel so the, that is called impurities reversal hmm. this this happens due to reduction in temperature right can you tell me what will be the concept now related to activity so by increasing the activity in that particular phase we can we can reverse it. if we can improve the activity then it will come it will go away to the other phase now so already this this compounds are in slag that is good now if you increase the activity of this compound in slag it will come back to the steel again then what is the what is the advantage of doing steel making i mean what is the purpose then we have to reduce the activity we have to reduce the activity of these compounds in the slag phase now is it okay now yes sir first thing is you try to remove all the impurities impurities will go to the slag phase then second concept is you reduce the activity of those compounds in the slag phase so that they cannot come back again into the metallic phase or steel here so how to do that the answer is very simple you try to react those impurities with the opposite nature impurities right if a impurities is acidic in nature you try to react with base it will become stable there its activity will go down if a impurities compound is basic in nature you try to react that impurities with acidic compound so it will become stable over there the activity will go down so it cannot come back right this is a very simple concept suppose let me give an example suppose p2o5 have formed phosphorus from the metal goes to slag in form of p2o5 so maybe there is a chance that p2o5 will again reduce and become p if you reduce the temperature so how to keep p2o5 in slag phase so we need to reduce the activity of p2o5 what can be done you simply add lime cao into the process which is a flux right so p2o5 is acidic cao lime is basic so they will react and they become stable in the slag phase so p2o5 will not come back to the steel again is it so you people understood my point no yes sir sometimes this happens actually in, during the steel making process sometimes mangan manganese manganese is, is a impurity which form mno again mno dissociate to form mn and it comes to the steel that is called manganese hump concept you can write if you want manganese hump that is means reversal of manganese into the steel again if you reduce the temperature or during certain condition right okay anyways so i will end the class here we can discuss further in the next class if possible hmm. okay you can end the recording okay if you have any doubt you can ask me up to this anyways sir why steel making is called selective oxidation yeah very good steel making as i told steel making is a chemical method of refining process chemical method of refining means we are using a chemical or a reagent chemical reagent to refine our hot metal to make steel right so we have hot metal hot metal means suppose pig iron we have but you understand pig iron have lot of impurities like carbon silicon um, manganese phosphorus and sulfur right so if i am intentionally adding oxygen into the process this oxygen will preferentially react or selectively react with these impurities to form oxides and these oxides will move to the slag phase by adding flux that's why it is a selective oxidation process but do you think it is a 100% selective no why because you can see some iron is also going into the slag in form of fuo is simply understood why this is happening because iron is the major component no 92 to 93% iron is there but this carbon silicon manganese phosphorus amount is low right so even if you are adding oxygen to remove this carbon silicon manganese phosphorus some oxygen will also react with iron because this is present in major amount it will also form fuo so that's why your steel making slag contains significant amount of fuo more than 10% maybe 
eighteen percent, ten percent, fifteen percent, like that. Maybe twenty percent sometimes. So that is a loss to the steel making process. We are losing some iron in form of FeO. But that's FeO also helpful because we are making the slag highly oxidizing. Hmm. And to remove these impurities, carbon, uh, carbon, silicon, manganese, phosphorus, we need a oxidizing slag. That is very interesting. And to remove sulfur, we need a reducing slag. You have to remember. Okay, Asifa, it is clear or? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Any other questions you have? It's so dinner time, right? Even I didn't take my dinner yet. Anyways, if you have any question, you can ask me. No problem. Anyways, how are you people? You are enjoying your life at VSC City. No, sir. Okay, fine. Uh, shall I leave now? If you have no further questions. Yes. Sir. Okay, fine. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.